All right, so I only kind of want to do this once because my internet is super slow if I use my cell phone as a hotspot. So I have, well, reset the thing. I have connected to my cell phone as the wireless device or where I'm getting my internet. I have gone to the mobile app on my laptop and I will say it is green light. I suppose I could have just um, selected my phone's hotspot as the Wi-Fi network and had my laptop connected to the um, normal Wi-Fi network. Anyways, I'm going to switch my Wi-Fi now to Next Garage. There it is. Clicked it. Successfully connected. Okay, so there's my normal router. Now I'm going to select my iPhone. And then I'm going to enter. I'm going to try and scroll down. There we go. Uh, and I'm going to enter in my password, which is very simple. In fact, I'll just tell you it. It's welcome friend, all one word. So basically the same equivalent as a simple password like password. Alrighty then, we're gonna press continue. Oh yeah, yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so let's see this. Is this gonna start blinking? So I don't know if this has to uh, reach out back to your servers uh, at Next Garage to like do something. Because if it does, then we're gonna be here for a little bit. Because uh, as I said, my, my cell phone connection is kind of shit. <sighs> I wish I had some elevator music to play. Um, yeah. Well, here you go. Just you can look at this. Wow, it can fit. Oh, oh, something happened. Are you gonna blink? It's starting to blink. We have blinkage. You're still blinking. Well, I mean, I guess I'll let it blink for a bit, you know, because I don't want to have to do this again. So, uh, there we go. Get a good, good view of the blinking. Perfect. I'm going to go make myself some food. Oh.
All right, has that been enough blinking? We're still on this screen. So, yeah, I'm guessing just same, same situation. So, yeah. The next day. All right, so I filmed the uh, previous video yesterday uh, and I had some stuff to do, so there was a gap. But now I'm ready to test the second uh, recommendation you guys made. Uh, and that was configuring my router so it uh, did not use the smart routing feature, so it wouldn't route connections to either 5 gigahertz or 2.4 gigahertz, depending on, I assume, proximity. So I disabled that, um, and I set my 2.4 gigahertz connection to uh, use channel 11, and I set the password to password. So I did those three things, and I'll show you. Here are my settings. Uh, you can see 2.4 gigahertz, smart connect is off. Uh, the network is 2.4, super ultra mega powerful. Um, and control channel is 11. Password is password. All right, I have reset this thing. Light is solid green. I have not yet tried this, so we're gonna just do it live. Um, and so let's do it. So I will go to uh, mobile.nextgarage.com It says my garage is open for some reason, remember? Uh, also, that garage is still here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so let's do this. Connect. Yes, the light is a steady green. Alright, so now it's going to ask me to connect to Next Garage Wi-Fi. So we'll go over here. Select Next Garage. Trying to connect, it's connected. All right, so now we're gonna select the uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, ultra mega powerful and we're gonna scroll on down and then we're gonna set the password to password. Okay, and press continue and we're gonna say that that is correct. So now let's look at this. Blinking. Holy testicle Tuesdays. All right, we have the light turned off. That is a first. So let's say the light is off. And uh, we'll just say uh, Taylor's home garage. Register. Nickname already exists. Yes, I know, but this is the real one. Uh, all right, fine. Taylor's Garage. I don't have a building other than my home. What? Device register. Oh, yeah, I'm connected to the device over here still. Wait, no, I'm not. What? But, but I'm connected. I'm connected to my 5 gig connection. Should I connect to my 2.4 gig connection to do this? Okay, password. Should probably just screencast this. Uh, okay, but will you let me go back? Uh, no, no you won't. So, is it? No, it's not even on here. And the light is off. So what does this mean? Does this mean I have to restart? Uh, refresh, maybe? No? Is this the one that's coming up? Taylor's Home Garage? No? Can I delete you now? That'd be nice. Mission update error. Connected to this, is, is the internet working? Let's go to Reddit. Internet is definitely working. Uh, okay. So, about device, did this one change? Oh, is it not, not letting me? 
go to about device. Whoa. Uh huh. All right, let's refresh. Let's see if something weird happened. <sighs> about device. What? What? What's going on? It like starts to animate and then it doesn't. Uh, okay. Uh, registered devices. This one's still here. Okay, that's weird. Uh, I guess. <laughs> God damn it. I guess I'll reset this and try it again. Okay, solid green again. Let's, let's do it one more time. All right, so not that it really matters, but we're connected to 2.4. We're gonna add a new device. It's a steady green light, yes. It's gonna ask us to connect to next garage. There it is. Come on. Okay, 2.4 ultra mega powerful. Here we go, password is password. Okay, press continue. That's correct. It's configuring the device. Linking. Okay, so it's off. Um, I think maybe I should switch over now. No, let's say it's off. Set the nickname to Taylor's Garage. And it says here now, make sure you're connected to your home Wi-Fi network. So that's where I fucked up. So let's make sure I'm connected. To, oh, I am connected to it. And is, is the internet working? Yes, internet is definitely working. All right, Taylor's Garage. Hopefully it lets me register this one. No, device register error. There's an issue saving the device information. Please check if you're back on your Wi-Fi network and tap on the register to cloud button to retry. Okay, well, we just established that I was definitely, definitely on my Wi-Fi network. Um, and it, I mean, the register to cloud button uh, fucking vanished. I mean, unless there's a separate one somewhere that I don't know about. Um, no, those are settings. <sighs> Share, door control, about device. Oh yeah, that's just not animating. All right, what the fuck is going on with that? Am I getting some sort of like errors here? Hold on, let me open up the console. I need two hands for this. Um, okay, here we are. So, <laughs> Failed to load a ton of resources here. Hearts, domain API, 404, not found. And let's see, maybe maybe my uh, ad blocker, no, it, it has not blocked anything on this page. Um, and neither has Ghostery, so that's not the problem. Uh, maybe these errors are from earlier. Let's clear the console, refresh, and see if these errors pop up. Yep, nope, they're definitely popping up. <sighs> okay, so there's all sorts of problems with the app. So yeah, that, that might be the problem. I mean, it's, it's just, it's not even finding the, the resources, so. I don't think it's a it's a blocked thing, but yeah, your your web socket isn't socketing for some reason. Okay, whatever. Well, here we go. All right. Good luck with that. So we've we've made some progress. Um, it it <laughs> it connected to the Wi-Fi network on two point four gigahertz channel eleven. Um, 
but obviously I'm not gonna run my router like that because it means every single other device that I've already configured uh, needs to be reconfigured and it also means that my router is not as uh, efficient. The connections aren't as efficient as they could be because obviously I want things to connect on five gigahertz if they're close enough. So I guess if I could actually get the MAC address of this thing, I might be able to make a custom rule on my router to say this little fucker always goes to channel 11. I don't know if that's even doable, but I guess it's an option. Um, so, I mean, we didn't get it to work. Like clearly there's still a problem, but now it seems like the problem uh, is with the software and not, not the hardware. So um, I guess please advise, thank you. 12 seconds later. Hey, literally like, I don't know, not even a minute has gone by since I last stopped recording. And as soon as I did, I tried something. I was like, okay, wait a second. Let's push the shiny red button on here. Why not? And so I did. And it was only at that point that it decided to let me know that my session had expired and I needed to re-log in. So you guys might wanna do some sort of uh, session checks uh, during the device uh, registration process. You know, it's not hard to do, so. Or you could just, you know, make a persistent section so it wouldn't need to fucking refresh or expire. So yeah, with Google, if you're validating, um, if you're validating a person's identity using Google sign-in, you can have an offline um, token so you don't ever need to have the session refresh. Now that, I guess, could potentially be a security problem, but it's probably not. So especially for something like this, that's probably the way you wanna go. Okay, so anyways, I pressed the shiny red button and I, I re-logged in and this thing made a clicking noise, which I assume means it's actually fucking working. See, it blinked and it clicked again. Fantastic. Uh, and for some reason it says that this is Taylor's home now. So this all updated. I'm not sure if we're still getting those errors. I assume we're not, but fuck it. It might be useful for you guys to know this. Uh, we will clear and we will refresh. No, we're still getting a lot of errors. Okay. Uh, let's go to register devices and see if Taylor's home. Yeah, okay, so the other device, I guess, was renamed, so this probably looks at, uh, you know, MAC addresses to associate the registered device with the name, so it probably saw that there was a duplicate and just overwrote it, maybe? I don't fucking know. Um, and then let's see if we can go to about device. Firmware is up to date, okay. So this, I'm not sure if this is the same MAC address um, that, we, uh, that we used last time, or that was displayed last time. I guess I can look at the previous video. Um, but let me just take a screenshot of this so I can make that uh, custom rule potentially. Okay, so I took a screenshot. So let's, um, let's turn off the um, 2.4 gigahertz connection. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that now that this thing, fuck, actually it probably remembers the wrong password for 2.4 gigahertz. So if I change everything back, hmm, God damn it. I don't know what I should do. So, um, I guess I'll fool around with it, um, but please uh, advise further. Okay, thank you.